Speaking from 21 South Street. It's a very peaceful morning today, with the birds continuously chirping outside. Right when the grandfather clock down the stairs, half hidden by the entrance door, made one gong. We knew it was the time for Bahadur to come up. We all called him Bahadur, just like Kunjodida. I, my dad, even Tupai, who rolled half the day on the floor but could hardly manage to roll his tongue and kept on chanting Baladur, 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 more than happy with his new deformed pet name, dragged his slippers all the way up to the stairs to lock the cast iron gate between me, Pikuda and the wide open terrace, the promise of abundant freedom from the deadly afternoon naps. And all the while, in this daily brutal act of snapping the lock in place, Baladur casually winked at Tupai, making a weird tuk-tuk sound with his tongue hitting the roof of his mouth. He's not going to live long, right Dadabhai? I asked him hopefully, precariously balancing on the iron bars of the gate once the narrow-eyed moon face vanished from the corridor. I turned to find the partner of my crime sitting on the floor and busy twisting a hairpin. Thoughts twisted and rolled between my ears. There was always a gate rigid and stout, standing between our Andor Mohol and Bahir, the secured and the unknown. Certain time of our life, there would always be someone wanting us to play safe and yet the call for the open roof is so heady and dangerous. I wanted to answer the call, but it was Dada Bhai, who had all the skills of a promising locksmith. The entire afternoons, the cousins, Sticking our tongues would take turns to push, pull and tug our boundaries to flee away from the meaningless slumber. Why do these old people love to sleep all the time, Dada? Dada! I had so many weird questions for the tiny dark head who was hardly a year or two older than me. But he knew not to get diverted by clowns. As he desperately tried to free himself, in fact us. This time I asked myself, why do they want to sleep when it isn't even time? And even if they, why do they want to drag along those who want to be wide awake? Why? The logs were stubborn and so were the knots that tangled my questions and as the open roof remained beyond reach, so were the answers. You were listening to The Shadows Were Never Seen From Letters to Myself by Piyu Mahapatra We will come back with another story another day. Till then, don't forget the address. It's 21 South Street. Goodbye.